<sighs> All right. Here we go with week nine picks. Uh, obviously, tomorrow we have, in my opinion, it'll be a very interesting game. And I am going full on hype train, bandwagoning onto the Jets. And we are picking the Jets to upset in Indianapolis tomorrow night. I, <laughs> I'm going all in, pushing all my chips in. We're going all in on Mike White here <laughs> for one week. <laughs> And if he does good, <laughs> I might pick the Jets next week. I think this is actually the first time I've picked the Jets all year. So we'll see. I might I might just be a down call, uh, downfall, um, and I might hurt the Jets. <laughs> uh, but we're going all in. I'm picking them. Um, God, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to stream it because I don't think I think it's going to just be on the NFL Network. So, um, but if it was on like Fox or something, I probably would make a stream just to stream this game for fun. <laughs> Just just because. Why why not? I think it'd be really fun and really interesting to watch. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping this game is good. Uh, especially after last week, I think this potential it could be. So, uh, you know, we're going full on upset here. So, <laughs> woo! Uh, they're moving into Sunday. So, Atlanta heads to New Orleans. Um, Atlanta just lost, uh, I believe it was 19 to 13 to Carolina. And uh, New Orleans just beat uh, the Tampa Bay Bucks. Um, this is in New Orleans, so I'm going to go with New Orleans just because, I mean, in New Orleans, it's hard for, you know, teams to play. So, going with them. Uh, then Denver heads to Dallas. Um, this won't be a fun game, honestly. Da uh, Denver is okay, and Dallas is like a top 10 team. So, <laughs> well, they're probably top 5 team, honestly. So, this is just not going to be a good game, which is why I'm going with Dallas. Um, then New England heads to Carolina. Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't have a drink here. Crap. Uh, oh, well. Um, Stefan Gilmore gets to face his old team after three weeks. Four weeks? Three weeks? Four weeks? I, I don't know what it's been. Um, of just getting traded to Carolina. So this will be an interesting game. Uh, I'm going with New England. I think New England is actually a better team than what they uh, have shown so far. Again, I've talked about this, uh, which actually will be tomorrow when my power rankings go up. Uh, it's a longer video. I know, you know, YouTube doesn't like that. People don't want to sit through a long video. It's about 40 minutes, but I, I go through every single team. Um, and I talk about, you know, New England is probably about five plays away uh, in total, five, six plays away from, you know, the whole season. If this happens or if they go for it on fourth down here, they win those games, and you get closer for field goals and whatnot. So, you know, New England is better than what their record shows, um, which is why I'm, I'm happy before the season I said they're going to make the playoffs because so far it looks like I'm right. I mean, there's potential. They could just, you know, second half of the season, they, they could just come out and uh, just do good enough to make the wild card. So, um, you know, so far looking good. And then Minnesota heads to Baltimore. Minnesota put up third. Yeah, 13 points. Yeah, it's 20 to 13. Yeah, so 13 points against Dallas. Um, honestly, it was a okay game. Uh, and then Baltimore. Did they have a bye last week? Who'd they face last week? I think they had a bye. I can't. I don't remember who they faced last week. I don't think. I think it was a buy. So um, I'm going with Baltimore just strictly because they feel like a better team to me. Um, Minnesota just coming off of their performance, uh, just, you know, they, they just did not look amazing, spectacular and whatnot. Um, so, you know, I'm just going with Baltimore. Uh, then Cleveland heads to Cincinnati. Now, I expect a wild game. Maybe somehow, some way, because of the divisional game, it is a divisional game. Maybe Cleveland pulls out the win in Cincinnati because with divisional games, you can throw logic out the window. It's this is personal. This, <laughs> this is like someone just hits your wife and you're about to go beat their, you know what? So this is this is personal. This is a divisional. Oops, I, I went to the wrong thing. <laughs> I already have slides created for every. Um, but the AFC North is. Probably the toughest division right now. I, I think because there's three teams. And, I mean, Pittsburgh is technically still contending for a playoff spot, too. Um, so, I think 
you know, at least three teams in the North that are going at each other. Uh, we just saw Cincinnati just upset Baltimore big when Baltimore looked like they were a better team. So, you know, Cleveland could easily do the same thing to Cincinnati, even though I'm going with Cincinnati. Uh, I just think after losing to the Jets, <laughs> I <laughs> I think you got to come out swinging. And you're at home. So if you lose to the Jets and then you lose to the divisional rival at home the next week, that's not going to be a good look. Uh, that's going to hurt your playoff standings a lot. Uh, and, I mean, Cleveland's just coming off of a loss at home against Pittsburgh. So, again, this is probably the toughest division in the NFL right now. So I expect a bloodbath game here. Uh, then Buffalo heads to Jacksonville. This is not going to be <laughs> this is Buffalo. I, I don't even have to say anything else. This is just not going to be a good game. So Buffalo wins. Uh, then we have Battle of the Tanks. Uh, who is going to get a higher draft pick, Houston or Miami? Um, I'm going to say Houston gets a higher draft pick because I am picking Miami to win the game. Um, now, I mean, this is such a bad game that Houston could honestly just win this because uh, Miami just is not looking good at all. Uh, either. So, you know, I'm going with Miami, but, you know, I would not be surprised if Houston wins this just because, I mean, both teams are just so bad. They're just, they're just not that good at all. Um, even though I had, I have, uh, I think Miami was like 22 in my power rankings. So, you know, I have them a little higher than the Texans, <laughs> um, just because on paper that they should be better. Uh, and they did pretty good against the Bills last week. So, you know, that's why I have them. I have them in the, you know, the low 20s, uh, which I guess is kind of a spoiler for my uh, power rankings tomorrow. But, um, you know, on paper, they're just, they're not as bad as, you know, what they, you know, look. But again, that you, it was, uh, what, 10-7 or 7-7 against the Bills last week. So, I mean, Miami did something right that first half. So, we'll just see how they do against Houston. Uh, then the Raiders head to face the Giants. Giants just lost by three to Kansas City. Uh, Raiders had a bye last week, I believe. Uh, I'm picking the Raiders coming off of their bye. Uh, they've gone through so much adversity. Uh, and now there's even more stuff, which I'm not, I'm not even going to make a video on this Henry Rugg stuff. Um, it's, it's just sad. It's depressing. Um, you know, prayers up for the family, but the Raiders have shown through adversity, they've come out after John Gruden, the whole thing with John Gruden, they've come out and they've just beat people up, and they've won games. So I wonder if, you know, you have all this news, all this media attention on you. If you go out there and say, hey, we're going to look past this. We're not going to pay attention to this. We're a football team, and we're just, we have to go play the Giants. Giants are our opponent. Let's go out there. Let's win. They are number two in the AFC playoffs right now. If they were to start today, they're number two seed. So in order to keep that, you have to get a win. And again, the Giants aren't the Giants aren't super bad. Obviously, they just got people back last week um, against the Chiefs. Um, and obviously, the Chiefs' defense isn't that good. But, you know, the Raiders aren't... The I would probably put the Raiders are potentially better than the Chiefs. It's close. It's very close right now. Um, but I'm picking the Raiders to win this. I just think, you know, they're facing adversity and they're... they're they're powering through it. They're uh, powering through it. <laughs> through it. <laughs> um, you know, and they're showing, hey, you know, throw whatever you want at us. Like, we're just going to, we're going to take it and we're going to keep going and we're going to better ourselves. We're going to get, you know, better as a locker room. So that's, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. That's, <laughs> there's your video on the whole Raiders situation. That's, that's all I got to say on that. <laughs> uh, then the Chargers head to Philly. Um, I don't know what's up with the Chargers. I, I don't. They look good for a while, and then they've had back-to-back -back losses, and they had a buy in between, too. So, I don't know. I'm picking the Chargers just because, you know, Philly is not that good. <laughs> um, so, I'm picking the Chargers to have a rebound game here. If the Chargers lose this game, I don't even know what to say. I don't, I don't know what to say at all if they lose this game. I just... Yeah, that's... it's. <laughs> There's no words for it. I, like, they just fell off a cliff if that happens. Um, then Green Bay heads to Kansas City. Now, uh, if you saw my video this morning, I talked about how, you know, I'm really going to look at, uh, you know, this Packers team with Rodgers out now and, and everything happening there. Um, it looks like I actually watched a press conference of Matt LaFleur. He says it looks like um, 
They're going to get Joe Barry and Devontae Adams back tomorrow, Thursday, for practice. So they're going to have, you know, two days of practice, and then they got to get on a plane on Saturday to, you know, fly out to Kansas City. Um, so I went and looked, and I'm like, okay, so we're going to have Adams most likely back. We're going to have MVS most likely back. We're going to have Alan Lazard back. Uh, you know, we're going to have all these weapons back. Uh, Dave Bakhtiari is still probably a week or two away. I don't think he's expected to play this week. Um, and then I'm looking, okay, so that's our offense against one of the worst defenses in the league. This is a terrible defense. Uh, I mean, the Giants, who are, you know, mid-tier team, just, you know, did whatever they want, and they kept the game really close. So then I'm like, uh, looking at, okay, Chiefs offense versus Packers defense. No Jair, no Kevin King. Okay, who do we have there? So Rasul Douglas plays pretty good. Um, Stokes has been doing good. You know, Amos back there, Savage back there at safety and whatnot. You know, our back is, you know, doing okay. Um, you know, up front, Kenny Clark. Uh, Preston Smith is back. Devondre Campbell's having a heck of a season. And it's like, okay, we have all these pieces around on defense. Uh, I think statistically we're a top 10 defense. So, you know, if, if our defense can do well enough against Kansas City's offense, um, who has been struggling, they've been doing not so good. Um, I think it, it comes down to Chiefs uh, defense versus Packers offense. Can Jordan Love prove the haters wrong and say, okay, well, I have Devontae out there. I have all these weapons out there. We have a running game we can rely on if need be. Um, you know, the O-line is not 100%, but they've done pretty well. And Rodgers, it's about a sack a game. So if we can keep that for love, you know, at least only one sack, I think there's potential that Packers could win this. Um, so, again, you're going to have, you know, a pretty good offense versus a pretty good defense. An interesting offense with, you know, a second-year QB versus one of the worst defenses uh, in the NFL. So, We'll see what happens. I, I'm, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to pick the package. Just again, you know, I just described everything, and I just feel like we have pieces around Jordan Love, and we showed the running game last week against Arizona. We had no wide receivers, and what do we do? We took the ball and we ran it. We just ran it right down Arizona's throat, and we won. And Chiefs have a worse defense than Arizona, so we should be able to do the exact same thing if we need to. Just rely on the running backs, and we're good to go. That's that's how I see it. Uh, obviously, we're going to have Joe Barry on the sidelines um, coaching. So, you know, it, it was a little different, again, because you didn't have your coach last week, but you're going to have your coach this week on the sidelines for defense. So, again, it's just when you really break it down and you really look at it, it's like, okay, yes, Mahomes is – it's still Mahomes. That offense is still interesting to watch. But you shut down Tyreek Hill, he's going to rely solely on uh, Travis Kelsey. You shut down Travis Kelsey – then you just play corners deep, and you say, okay, well, you want to throw deep? Okay, well, Tyree kills down here, but we have three people on him. Still short to someone else. Rely on your other receivers. That's that's pretty much all you got to do. They don't have a running game. Uh, Clyde Edwards-Alaire is out. Um, I think it was a season-ending injury earlier this year. Um, so, you know, they don't really have a running game. So it's just, you know, Mahomes has to do all the work by himself, and I, I don't think he can. I just I don't think he can. So... But again, it'll be interesting to see if we can move the ball downfield with love. Um, just, you know, very interested to see. Um, but again, I'm picking the Packers. Uh, just again, you know, I broke it down and just I'm interested to see how this game goes. So uh, then Arizona heads to San Francisco uh, flat out. I think Arizona is just going to come back and say, hey, you know, we lost to Packers who were injured a lot. Let's go beat up a divisional rival. <laughs> Let's go win the West because uh, we lose this game. Rams are right on our tails. They're a half a game behind. Right now, the uh, Cardinals... No, I'm sorry. The Rams are a half a game ahead. Because uh, if Arizona loses, they have two losses. And then I'm picking the Rams to win. But, obviously, Arizona beat the Rams. So, they're only a half a game behind the Rams. So, if they lose this game, uh, you know, you, you got <laughs> to gotta step it up. <laughs> But I, I expect Arizona to win. I, I still think they're. Well, I, I can't. I can't say a number because that's in my power rankings. But uh, they're a very, very good team. I, I can't say the number. Um, I'm gonna spoil my power rankings if I say a number. <laughs> but they're a very good team still. Like just because Green Bay beat them doesn't mean they're a terrible team. 
It does not mean that at all. They're still a very good team. They're still a top five team. Uh, I'll just say that. I, I can say that because they're, they're still top five. Because uh, That's easy to say. Um, then Tennessee heads to uh, L.A. to play in SoFi for the Sunday night game against the Rams. Uh, I, w- I legit would have picked Tennessee if Derrick Henry was playing. But because he's not, I think it's going to be interesting, at least this game, because of the Rams uh, and that defense. I think, I think it's going to be interesting to see how you know Julio gets open, A.J. Brown gets open. Uh, you know, can Ryan Tannehill do it? Again, the Rams are a tough team. The Rams are again they're they're a top five team too. I, I can't again I can't spoil my rankings here. I, I want to say it because I have the video done, but it's not going up till tomorrow. Um, but they're they're a very good team too. Rams are a very good team. So I, I think just strictly because no Derrick Henry and you have to rely uh this is your first week uh week relying on no Derrick Henry in the backfield, so you know play action isn't gonna work as well. Uh I'm picking the Rams just solely because I think it's going to take a couple weeks for Tennessee to get in the rhythm of, okay, we don't have Derrick Henry, so we have to rely on Tannehill now. Um, that's strictly why I'm picking the Rams here. Otherwise, again, if Derrick Henry is playing this game, I, I'm picking Tennessee all day, every day. I just Derrick Henry is just a game ruiner. Uh, you have a plan, he'll he'll do whatever he wants. You, you can't stop him, no matter what. So the fact that they don't have him hurts them a lot. So uh, then we have... Honestly, this is not a terrible Monday night game. This is actually be kind of interesting. So Chicago heads to Pittsburgh. Um, I think didn't Pittsburgh just have a Monday night game the other week? Uh, that was against Seattle, uh, and that maybe that was Sunday. Maybe that's what it was. Because um, I think I think everyone gets one Monday night game. I think I could be wrong, but I think everyone. Um, so probably was Sunday night. Um. I'm picking Pittsburgh here just strictly because uh, I, I just – probably the Pittsburgh defense is a little better than San Francisco's defense. Obviously, I mean, you have a game record uh, on both teams and T.J. Watt and then Nick Bosa, you know, they basically fill the same role. Um, but I, I, I don't know. I just feel like that front four – uh, I mean, you're gonna have people come from the other side. Now, again, I'm not saying you know San Francisco's defense is terrible. Um, I mean, because they're, they're a pretty good defense too. But I just feel like you know, on paper, especially in the regular season, like San, uh, Pittsburgh's defense has just been very good in the regular season f- for the past couple of years. Um, so I just feel like I mean, Pittsburgh's probably a top five defense right now, probably. Um, so you know, I expect them to get after Justin Fields. I don't expect them to be able to do, uh, was that a 25-yard run or something like that, um, where he uh, basically stiff-armed the guy into the ground and then, you know, went back the other way and said, we're going we're to circle back, and then he blocks. And then he had about six people blocking for him so he can walk in for a touchdown. Um, I don't expect that. I expect them to contain him more. Um, and it's just, you know, I've been saying it for the past two weeks. You know, Fields, if he, if he uh, does not see, if he sees someone coming, he puts his head down and he doesn't say, okay, I'm going to keep looking until I get to the line of scrimmage and then I'm going to throw. No, he, he sees someone coming and he darts right away. He he ignores all the wide receivers and he darts right away. And then if he's getting chased, he forgets to throw the ball. And that's been happening again. It's been happening most of the season. You still see it um, where it's like, okay, you know, eventually he's going to learn, hey, just, you know, you're rolling out. You have a guy chasing you. Just throw the ball away. Lift, uh, Live for another short fieldage on, you know, third down and four instead of, you know, you're rolling out on second down, make it third down and four instead of, you know, third down and nine or whatever. Um, so, you know, he's got to learn that. Uh, again, he's still a rookie, so you have to give him, you know, a couple years. Uh, and it's the Bears who aren't, you know, the best with QBs. But <laughs> uh, but those are my picks. So, um, you know, again, Fully on board with the Jets bandwagon right now <laughs> for this week only. <laughs> um, but if, if Mike White can actually do this, if he can actually beat Indianapolis, I mean, the Jets may have just found a QB of the future. They, they really may have. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm interested for that game. I'm interested for the uh, Green Bay, Kansas City game. Uh, Cleveland, Cincinnati has me excited. New England, Carolina should be interesting. Uh, again, Tennessee and the Rams will be interesting too. So a lot of very interesting games this week. So I'm I'm excited for this week. Last week I was not excited for 
uh, outside of Green Bay, Arizona, I was not really excited for any games at all last week. So, for now, like the video, share the video around, don't forget to subscribe, and we are out of here. Peace.